So what's up YouTube, it's Double A back at it again with another video for today. The style of video I got for y'all today is how to create slash make a fashion film y'all. First off, a fashion film really doesn't have to fit like some sort of criteria. A fashion film generally is just showcasing objects such as clothing, bags, and other stylistic elements. And a simple example I can give y'all about this is maybe like an advertisement on like a Gucci bag or maybe like a famous sneaker or like a Rick Owens, something of that nature. These can be easy examples of fashion films and these are just fashion films more sorted for promoters, but fashion films can be used for various different reasons. I have various fashion films and videos that I will be showcasing for y'all in this video i'm going to be showcasing most of these videos in the editing portion where i show y'all or give y'all some tips on editing your fashion films typically a fashion film consists of motion picture photography also known as cinematography it includes lots of visuals some sort of story and among other things the whole concept is supposed to be related to fashion now just some basic information about the fashion films there is a three-part structure that i want to switch y'all in this video and the first part of this is the purpose or you guys can call it the concept the second part of this is the end result and this is most important for the, like the promoter or like the, the brand and then the third part which i feel like is the most important which is the story the third part of this which is the purpose is important and the purpose can consist of the overall concept which can be something as simple as femininity divinity or just things of that nature just like a simple concept once you know what you want to convey this should be simple to put down so don't stress this because once you know what you ultimately want to convey or once you know what value you're trying to provide to your audience this will come easy the second part of the structure is the end result. The end result is important for the brand owner and the designer, as I was saying. The purpose and end result kind of come hand in hand. And what I mean by this is the fact that you can have a purpose and work around that to find products to work with the concept, or you can have the product come first and then you have a purpose and concept with it. On to the third part, which is the story, which I feel like is the most important, y'all. And the reason why I feel like this is the most important part is because this makes the film more appealing. And what I mean by this is it creates a connection with people that are viewing your videos and it makes them feel something. If you guys have ever watched like a movie or just something that has some sort of emotion, you tend to remember those things that create emotion to you just because of the way it makes you feel. So if you guys can make somebody feel something through the screen, this will definitely captivate their attention and make them remember you over time. It is definitely important to convey a good story. Also, if you can create a story that can create a new reality or fantasy, that can help the viewers feel something as well. So that is a great touch you can add to your video. Generally, in these fashion your films you also do want to keep in mind to have like a beginning middle and end this kind of helps the structure of the video and overall flow all these three steps need to be clear straightforward and need to achieve the same goals y'all something i did want to say for you guys is a film does not have to have a certain time limit the film can vary it's just i would take into mind how certain social media apps like tiktok or instagram reels they definitely have like a lot of short form content on there and i'm realizing a lot of people are just having short attention spans so i would definitely take this into mind i would not shorten your your fashion film if you do have sufficient value what i mean by this is if you have a lot of value to add to your film i would definitely put it all in there if you feel like it's interesting and it's going to be something the viewer does want to watch it is important to always incorporate a strong intro y'all and i cannot stress this enough an important intro is always important when it comes to creating a fashion film because this is going to captivate the audience at first glance and when you guys first of all think about when you guys are seeing like an advertisement you guys don't want to see maybe an advertisement that starts off with monotone or you don't want to have something that is not really captivating at the beginning also an important tip you do want to have when it comes to creating these fashion films is you do want to make the viewer remember or feel a certain type of way and i'm gonna get into that towards the end of the video okay, i'm gonna give y'all some tips first and foremost on these fashion films a tip i can give y'all in terms of fashion films in terms of the short form content is the fact that you want to use your phone or whatever you're filming in that portrait mode and the reason why i say you want to use portrait and not land landscape is because landscape can sometimes make it harder for you to like edit it when it comes to like editing it and putting it out it just kind of makes the whole formatting thing just a little bit harder and just more to work with but to each his own to be honest it can do either or it doesn't really matter also another tip i did want to give you guys is you want to have a free background free of distractions a good location and also you want to shoot around the afternoon for the best lighting the reason why i stress the free distractions is because if you do have like a lot of distractions in the background this kind of takes away from your video the audience may pay attention to things in the background versus the value you're providing to them. You definitely want them to be paying attention to you and not the things that are going on around you. Another important tip is you want to have space to fit your entire body. You want to make sure there's sufficient space 
the top of your head and submission space at the bottom of your feet if that's what you want to show in your video just make sure that when it all comes said and done you do not want to have anything cut off another important part is good energy y'all good energy is so important y'all because as you guys can probably see when talking to someone else or even seeing something throughout a screen energy is easy to read and if somebody has bad energy you're probably not going to be gravitated towards it or you're probably not going to really want to watch it or feel obligated to watch it you do want to make sure that the energy is just good overall and you want to just make sure your viewer feels welcome and just feels good throughout the whole video besides good energy another good tip i wanted to give you all is good quality good quality is always important just because this like just maximizes just your chances of having a better video but also there can be an exception if you do want to have your video just have that bitch change look if that's what you're looking for but i would definitely advise having good quality because this just helps your shot just become more crisp another important part is editing y'all editing is important part about the whole fashion film because this kind of brings it all together a tip i did want to share with y'all which is really important is you do want to cut unwanted footage and you also want to keep all your clips short the reason why i say this is because if you do not cut the unwanted footage this will make your video more boring and if you do cut it it will keep it will keep that entry when you keep all your clips short this kind of resets the audience's like the viewer's attention and it makes it more fast paced something you do want to take into account or add into your films if that is what you wanted to do is you can add some text animation beat roll even transitions as i was saying before this can just add that extra factor to it that just helps it just come all together really well when all used collectively nicely they can all come out to make your video just look that much better y'all so i would say color is very great because people gravitate towards color more than just darker colors so i would say like those more vibrant colors are just gonna hit home better but there are so many ways y'all can be creative there are so many things you guys can do but without further ado i'm gonna get into the uploading process y'all the process that everybody has been waiting for you guys have finished the video you finished recording you finished editing it and then now you're on to uploading so as far as uploading goes uploading is very important because you want to make sure that you have a, a good cover or like a good thumbnail but you do not want to give out the full value of the video and what i mean by this is let's say you have like maybe like an april sneaker release video which i do have y'all if y'all haven't already watched y'all should go watch that y'all that was my last video but anyway if you guys have like maybe like an april sneaker release video you do not want to have on the thumbnail you do not want to have all the sneakers that you're going to be showing in the video or else that just leaves the viewer knowing everything you had in store for them that is really important because if you just lay out everything on the thumbnail then the viewer not feel obligated to watch your video so you definitely want to have some sort of intrigue or some sort of cover that is going to match the vibe of your thumbnail but is not also going to give away the whole video idea the last and final thing i want to give y'all about the uploading part is if you are uploading your fashion film onto a short form content whether it may be like a tiktok or a like instagram you do want to make sure that you pick trending audios these trending audios will just help you get out there more and it just helps you get more views on your videos you still can use regular audios although these just may not help you just spike your views or it may not help you get as many views as possible but I would definitely take into account using those trending audios. And let me know if you guys want to let you know how you can tell if an audio is trending. I can make a video on that. Let me know down in the comments below. And I will definitely make a video on that. But without further ado, y'all, that is going to cap off the how to create slash make a fashion film, y'all. Let me know if y'all want some more information on the fashion film. And also, for those out there that do know a little bit more about fashion films, let us know down in the comments below for those that want you to know more. I'll see y'all in the next video, y'all. I appreciate y'all, each one of y'all, for staying tuned this far and I will see y'all bro.